Hi, it's me, Pam Vinnie, and I'm still working on this um, little journal. Well, not little journal, but this journal that is made out of this pillow sham that I cut in half. And I just thought I'd show you what I've done so far. And I'm still looking for a, a good phone camera arm. I just have something rigged up. It took me about a half hour to figure something out. So I'm hoping it doesn't come crashing down. But anyway, I've, you know, sewn in my signatures here. And I'll show you what I did so far. Okay, I added this little girl here and that paper. Yeah, I don't know if I show the papers. I'm not sure. This is a little, um, there'll be a little tuck here, that little drawer that I cut out of a paper pad. This is going to be decorated in some way. Um, and this was part of a, it was in a ring binder. And then I made this a pocket. And then this flips out like so, and I'm not done. I'm just going to show you what I have. A little washi tape there. And, and I think this is a pocket at the top, too. Just have a little uh, magnet there. Coffee dyed. Scrapbook. Half page. A little dictionary page. This is from a 1946 or 7 vintage magazine it's a little crumbly i'm gonna to have to reinforce it uh but i want the words to show so maybe tape or i don't know you're not going to really see the whole story anyway i might just put washi tape there and this is from a um, there's a letter for, like from an address type book and then i added an envelope with that pretty edge here and then this is a die cut from wallpaper. So then there's a pocket here, like a bird book or a nature book. Must be a nature book. And here, this is a tuck with that envelope. That craft envelope opens up. You can put something here. Or I could close it up and open it up on that side. And then this is a pocket. And then this is a die cut that I have. Uh, Tim Holtz and I yeah I just added silver and I put silver um, metallic paper underneath kind of just stressed it I thought that was interesting I want this to be a, like a fun eclectic journal with lots of fun interesting pages coffee dyed thicker paper We've got grid paper it's like a vintage Looks like they made the, um, like a ledger or a, an accounting page. Dyed envelope. Like a little, another vintage page. And this is um, from that magazine. Added washi tape there from the 40s. What's new in gas ranges? There's thicker paper. Uh, so there's a pocket here, and then there's a pocket here. I just kind of cut along with that bird. If you can see that bird, really pretty paper. I made a little envelope from a die that I have. Um, this is the middle of the, the first signature. And, um, yeah, and I'll add charms. I mean, this is just the beginning. And then um, this is a... On the back of this envelope, Manila envelope, <clears throat> I have a pocket <clears throat> that I'll show how to make out of a circle. And then I just carried that theme over and punched out a circle here and here. And I'll show you how I made this. I did do a little stitching. It's really pretty paper. It's got like a little, um, I don't know, like a little gold foiling or something. But then I cut that circle out that can go here and then a really pretty tag with the butterflies and that's on the other side so I thought I'd show you that and then I will link I can't think of the name uh, where I, I found the um, the video showing how to make that pocket but I will show you how I made it and then I'll put the link 
in uh, the description box um, how I made it. I mean, how I, you know, how the other person made it. So I've got some uh, double-sided paper, and I don't have, you know, she had a, like, a circular, you know, thing where you could cut it out, and I don't have that. So I just took a pie plate, and this might be bigger. Uh, I think hers was smaller, but I just used what I had. And uh, so this one's 10, but you could, you probably, you could certainly go smaller. And I could use this, but it doesn't give a real, I mean, I guess I could. Don't know how uniform the circle is. I think it'll work. So I'm just going to, oopsie, draw around the bottom of the pie pan. And I went out of the lines quite a bit, but now I'm going to cut this circle. I did the best I could and then I can erase it too um, and also ink around it okay so now what she did was let me try sitting down hopefully the arm doesn't come crashing down <laughs> but um, I didn't met I think she lined things up I didn't really measure but I, I know you want to have these two things, these meet. So we could just find, what is this? I never, I don't really use this mat. So where is the, let's see if we can find. I'm moving things around, okay. Where is the center of this, of this circle? It's not quite eight. So maybe if we bring it up, not quite to four. I didn't, I didn't measure. I, this is what I did. Okay, I just kind of brought it up half and half. What I thought looked good that kind of looks good to me not perfect but it doesn't have to be perfect that's really pretty paper and then you want to bring this up like so if I had my bone folder here, I would use it. And it doesn't have to be perfect because, um, you know, if it doesn't meet perfectly, you know, here in the middle, you can put something there, which I like anyway. Okay, so then you've got that. And then you're going to take your scissors. And you're just going to cut right here, that line where you folded. I don't know if I can see it better here. No, a little hard to see. Let's make that fold a little. And then you're going to cut in just to that line there. 
here. And then you're going to put this back how you had it. Then you're going to bring this up. And then you're just going to bring these little flaps over. And this little flap over. And basically, that's all there is to it. Now that doesn't line up perfectly. But it doesn't, I mean, this doesn't line up perfectly, but um, you're going to put a little something here. But that's what you have. So you can have a tuck here, and then you have a tuck here, and a tuck here. So I'm going to sew around it. Okay. I did sew around it, <clears throat> and it is off a little bit here because I didn't measure precisely. But, you know, check out uh, the other person's video if you want it to be more precise. And um, I thought what I could do, um, I'm going to add a, probably maybe this really pretty flower. And then there was that. And then this, I had recently uh, got out my package that I had gotten quite a while ago from uh, Marcy with Creators Call Shop and this was some of the items that I had gotten from her and um, these colors are really pretty I thought that they would go well with this and also you know if you um, wanted to you could pick out in this paper you know, you could do a flower. Let's see which one. Well, maybe I do this right here. You could cut maybe this, just maybe just this one. Hope you all are doing well. We've got definitely fall weather. The leaves are all of a sudden starting to turn gold and yellow, orange. Okay, so I'm thinking, well, that would be pretty, or that would be pretty. It is kind of dimensional. I think I am going to go with this. Let me sit down here a minute. And then I want to add some leaves, and let's see about something from here. Let's just try something. I wonder if it would be pretty here. And then adding, adding the leaves around like that. I think I like that. So let's see if my hot glue gun is warm enough. And here, let me just take a little sip of my coffee. Are you guys a pumpkin spice kind of person? I've, I've never really gotten into that, but um, maybe if I tried the pumpkin spice, pumpkin spice, I would like it. Um, yeah. Let's see. So I think we're going to add that here. Let's do that. I guess I could use my hot glue gun, which I could still do. Okay, 
you got those little leaves coming up the side pretty and then we will add this I think I'm going to put it onto the back of this because we still want to be able to get something in there. So I think I'm also going to cut a piece uh, this size just to have a little left over this just to, um, you know, so it doesn't interfere. Whoops, I should have used this side. Never mind. Okay, so what I want to do is just put that on there so, you know, it will, you know, if I put this behind it, I don't want all that to get interfere with the little pocket here. So let's quickly cut this out. And then there's another little pockety pocket I wanted to show you if I had enough time or I could do that in another video. Maybe I'll do that in the next video. Okay, so then that's going to go there, but I want some of this. I'll put it to the back of this. Yeah, that's kind of pretty. Just gives it a little extra something. And then I'm going to add that there. Okay. I think that's pretty. Then I will just make some tags or, you know, I'll do the circle like I did. Maybe I'll just do that too. I'll get that and show you how I made that. Here we have this pretty little pocket. Okay, the next thing I did was I got some of these circles. I have like a little stitching to them. And that will go. Which pocket is it going in here? That's how I had the other one. The other one was probably wider, but. Um, I mean, it still fits in there. How about the next circle? Yeah, why don't we put that circle in? So, we're going to take a scrap. And figure out, I think we're wanting this, so we're going to cut that circle out, and let's do, let's do these two since we have Well, I can fill this out, so let's do this. Okay. 
Okay, we got those. And so if we put that in there, and then this could be here. So let's glue that. To the middle. Okay. Then that's going in here. And then we have another place to put something and then another one. I don't think I had that many. I mean, in the other pocket that you can put in as many as you want. Okay. Then we've got another one. So what should we do? I mean, you've got circles. So the circles are kind of fun. Okay. Let's see. How about the next biggest one? It'll go in. Let's see if we could do that. We'll do that here. Like so. Oops. Those are really pretty colors. Oh, and I got the uh, nice uh, flower. Yeah, I meant to do that. <laughs> okay, so that's that. And then, yeah, I like how the circle, circle, circles go. And then I also need a tag for the back. So I'm just going to cut what I think would fit. I'm thinking three and a half by five and a half maybe so three and a half by five so three and a half Let's just see here. About to here. Okay, let's see. What is that? Yep, that's five. We'll do five. And so I'm going to put that in that way, and then maybe we will round the corners a bit okay so that is what we have i like it what do you think if you like it and want to see more videos, please like or comment or I would love if you would subscribe. Okay, so now we have that. We have that circle. And then we have this card in the back. And it could be a floating pocket. Or it could be attached. And that one goes like that. Very pretty. So thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. And I will also uh, put a link in the uh, description box for uh, where I found this tutorial. Thanks for watching. Bye.